I'm out scouting today. I'm gonna to show you how I use the tools that I have access to to find some great spots for photography. I'm not sure that I'm gonna find anything, but that's what scouting's all about. Let me show you what I bought. In cases like this where you're just out scouting, um, you just wanna be, you know, you wanna have some form of defense between you and an animal that wants to eat you or an animal that's protecting itself because you're too close to its territory. Or maybe there is some crazy nutcase out in the woods and uh, maybe you need to protect yourself against him or her as well. So I just, just gives me that little bit of extra confidence takes away whatever paranoia I may have about looking over my shoulder. There's a problem. Anybody guess what it is? There's no clear shot. There's trees everywhere and I can't get a clear shot out of the trees. So that sucks. I'm gonna look around and see if maybe there's another spot. It looks like there may be another opportunity. The path kept going and it's going right out to a point where there's nowhere else to go. I'm guessing this path is here for a reason. Let's find out. So this is a great location, but I think it's going to be much better during a sunrise or a sunset. I'm going to use my app PhotoPills. This is a great app. I can tell exactly which direction the sun's going to rise as well as set just by using this app. And that'll tell me whether it's worth coming back or not. Good thing I had that bear spray, huh? All right. So what I learned from that? Well, this spot, uh, it's, it's not much to photograph, you know, in the middle of the day, but when the timing is right, timing is everything, whether it's photography, business, life, you know, the timing has to be perfect to get wonderful results. Usually, sometimes you get lucky, but if you try to force it, you're just gonna regret it later. So I just, uh, you know, I, I write it off as, all right, I found a spot to come back to um, when, the, when the light is right. You know, I got a good hike out of it and it was beautiful. There's, it's not to say that it wasn't beautiful. It, you just can't force it. Uh, you know, if you're, if you're doing selfie vlogging or whatever else, it's a beautiful location. So it's perfectly uh, good for, for that type of photography. So let me show you how I found this spot. I was using Google Earth on my Mac and I was just kind of wandering this river looking for photos and looking at the photos people have taken you can see those by those little blue icons there and when you click it you get a picture that comes up and it shows you that shot that someone's taken from roughly where that icon is so you can see there's some really wonderful shots here and i just i, I had a feeling the timing would need to be sunrise or sunset 
But that's what a scouting mission is. It's to check things out and know, you know, if you can't get the perfect shot while you're there, when to come back and get that perfect shot. Here's the second location. Now, this is a bridge just down the street. And I found it just, again, clicking icons, looking at pictures when I saw a picture like that. I was like, huh, now that would be awesome. And then I, a couple more pictures here, and you can see that I knew this was going to be a good location. What I didn't know is that this spot was going to have ice. There was no snowfall around. So the fact that there was ice here, well, that had me drawn in. And I had to go and try to get a nice shot. Shots during midday, you know, that can be tricky. But with this ice and that blue sky, I thought I could probably compose a shot, you know, that was worth taking. So stick around to the end of the video and you'll get to see what I came up with. But this was an absolutely beautiful site that could be taken at many different times. Here's another site I went to. I found some pictures on Google Earth, but the security was so high because it was a dam. Uh, you know, I just couldn't get to things. You can see the fence there. It was just really hard to be able to get to the things that I wanted to photograph. So it doesn't always work out. You can't tell those things from looking at Google Earth, but you do get to kind of get an idea of what's there. For my last location, which was my most important location, because I was planning on shooting sunset there, I found this spot, which is just down the road about a half an hour or so. And when I started clicking pictures, I immediately knew this was gonna be a great location. However, I wasn't positive on whether or not this would be a great location for sunset. Uh, this lighthouse and this open area, you know, with some cliffs, I had a feeling I was gonna be able to make something happen. I just wasn't quite sure about what it would be. And this is how my scouting days usually go. I usually plan, you know, just to kind of explore things during the day part of the trip and then try to end up or land, you know, at a site that's gonna pay off big dividends when it comes to a sunset. And uh, Google Earth is a, is a great tool that I use to help get these ideas and help find the trails and help figure out how and if I can get to these incredible locations and where they are. Now, I know these aren't crazy exotic locations, but they're beautiful locations right in my backyard that are worthy of a photograph. And I found them by chasing the shot. Mm -hmm. 